Hi, Yarabun, Seasonies, guys, what are you guys doing? What have you guys been up to today on this fabulous Monday in this fabulous month of May? <laughs> have you guys been spending your whole day productively streaming NCT Dream's new comeback song, Hot Sauce? Have you? Have you? And if you haven't, it's not too late because you're on the same boat as me. Kind of opened my eyes today, knew that there's a new music video drop, and I was just like, but I got so much work to do. <sighs> so I was like, let me finish all my work. Let me get settled down because it's been a long time coming. Guys, Mark is back in NCT Dream. Okay. This is a full, first dreamy full album. And I don't even know what to expect. There's just like, they've been promoting it pretty much prior to its drop today um, already on uh, different sort of online platforms, uh, online variety shows. I know they were on Hello82 and then they did the one, the K, um, a scrape room sort of interview where they had a little question um, to interpret younger photos of themselves which was really cute as well but like I feel like for me NCT Dream always it has a different kind of feel and a different vibe and a little a little place in my heart that's kind of different from the other units of NCT or Wavy as well because they debut at such a young age right and then it was it's like seeing them grow up that process now it's like like in chilling in the dream variety show that they were doing on youtube well their own sort of um small youtube series right they were playing beer pong in one of the episodes and i'm just like <sighs> Yo, Dreamies went from chewing gum to playing beer pong, like, <sighs> getting so emotional. <laughs> and so, the Dreamies for me are always different. And then, I feel like their um, whole journey has been very different um, from the other units as well, in a way where they thought at the original, you know, um, system that the Dreamies had to go through was the graduation system where they would um, you know become adult age and then uh, graduate from the group but we know that SM just threw that idea and out the window and trashed it so <laughs> um, being able to pretty much change the whole the whole plan of what they were supposed to be into what they are now is just so fulfilling to see as a fan having them come all this way and then also just watching the members one by one you know coming of age so very very sweet um, individually like some of the members uh, have gone through some challenges in their time as well when it comes to like you know um, injuries or health wise as a whole so you know they debuted at seven and then also Jamin took like a um, hiatus for uh, health reasons then Jamin came back and it was like Mark's graduation and then it was like a long period of just six members and then now Mark's back and Jisung's an adult so uh, just overall a very long long journey already for these dreamies that are like no older than like 23 24 years old and so hot sauce I really don't know what to expect of it there's been like various um, teasers and like even uh, choreo <laughs> dance spoilers from the members themselves but other than that that's all I know so I'm very excited let's get to it I feel hot already. <laughs> Just off the bat, looking at this, Jeno. Nigga, 
The set is so cool. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. How are you guys vibing with uh, Runjin's hair? This was from the teaser. What what is that? No, 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 no. Wow. Watching this makes me really want to eat Mexican food. <laughs> it's for the gram. I think that's even their own, like, personal cell phones for the gram. Oh, dance break, dance break. I really want to know that. Is that like lyrics? Cute. That was a cute animated ending. Hot sauce, hot sauce. Oh, so spicy. Oh, so so spicy. So, what was what was that like in the song? If you guys <laughs> checked out the lyrics or checked out the song in detail, but it sounded like mumbling. But then, like, very brainwashy mumbling. But then, were they supposed to be lyrics? Like, I'm very curious to know. I'm gonna have to listen. To, like, definitely will be listening to it again and again. But, like, it was very spicy. And it's now making me crave some, like, legit Mexican food. What I really, really liked about um, this music video was the set. The set is like amazing. Just look at, let's, let's look at this part here. Look at that. And it's so detailed. Like, look at the banner at the top here. It's so detailed. I love the art that they had uh, going on for this comeback, actually. It was very, um, poppy. Where... See, the same set. Same set. And even in this, like, restaurant here. Oh, tacos, nachos, coke. Make me feel like that Mexican food. For realsies. For realsies. Even the... 
even the colors in this part here. Love it. So bright. And it's like NCT Dream, like they're becoming adults now. Oh, well, they are adults now. <laughs> and so, like, you know, dream concept or like um, kind of going back now, you know, doing the whole bright pinks and blues and stuff. You thought they would outgrow that. No, they don't outgrow that because they just do it, but in a different like style, right? So instead of, you know, maybe big balloons and flowers, you got like that kind of fiery background with the flames on the outline. And they're a mascot. Look at here, see? You got your pinks, you got your bright blues and greens and yellows. And it's like very fresh and uh, pop eye catching colors, right? That suits the dream. But not overly like, you know, Aegyo style. Overall, very good music video. Gonna start, you know, doing that stream. <laughs> Sitting currently at 15 million views. Let's check out some of the comments. My favorite part. <laughs> SM, please drop the actual hot sauce. Seriously, why is the hot sauce not an actual merch item? And which, by the way, I do have uh, two copies, two versions of the album coming in uh, via group order with my friend that did the first, my very first group order with Armin and so when those come into my hands you guys betcha there's gonna be an unboxing video but I'm considering it throwing it on the IGTV for IGTV exclusive so make sure you guys follow us on the socials, TikTok and Instagram for that exclusive content but no, why is the sauce, hot sauce like not an actual merch item? <laughs> I would love to be, you know, getting myself a bottle to see if it's, um, different. It's already, like, on replay. <laughs> if you guys like NCT Dream, raise your hands. If you dislike NCT Dream, raise your standards. Ooh. That is a real, that's a real one. Awesome, awesome. I don't know what this is all. I'm thinking these are like s different language. Huh? If you stand NCT Dream, there's no turning back. That's a solid. <laughs> there's timestamps for the members now. People be confused. New new seasonies be confused and be like. Why is Mark in here? <laughs> uh, he's one of a kind. He really is. Because how are you going to go and debut four times? Yep. He's really one of a kind. And I love the memes that come out when SM's dropping a new group whether it's a girl group or guy group, they'd be like, yo, Mark's gonna debut again. <laughs> NCT million seller edit double million seller. That is true, guys. NCT Dream's first full-length album snatched a double million seller. And they sold a million, I know, based off the fact that they didn't even know, fans didn't even know what it looked like. SM had not released any details except for a, a date 
<laughs> and an album name and I think it sold a million there was not even a cover where there's like usually the cover with like the the cover for this one is like the whole cactus background desert thing with the hot sauce bottle in a cartoon but no when it was first announced it there wasn't even that it was just image coming soon and that sold them a million so power of NCT power of N citizens and so <laughs> On the topic of power of NCT and worldwide domination, y'all would have caught the announcement um, about SM doing a joint venture with um, a label from the US and they're going to be opening up um, auditions for <laughs> SM's new branch and new unit that they're gonna do I guess out here in the West called NCT Hollywood and I hope I hope Lord if you listen <laughs> that is a temporary name for the unit because NCT Hollywood sounds sounds ridiculous guys it just sounds ridiculous and I know there's a like um it, there was like an uproar from all the social medias like comments like what is NCT Hollywood like that sounds pathetic it's not gonna work drop it now while you can like like Lisa Man what are you thinking but um the whole concept of NCT like and what the goal of NCT was from the very beginning was very clear this is an ever-growing boy group and an ever-growing brand um, that's housed within SM and so there's going to be different branches uh, I thought like similar to NCT 127 and NCT Dream that when the different branches were going to be made I definitely thought they would keep that NCT as the home like label name and then put something at the end so when Wavy debuted it was confusing for fans and for myself because I was like so is Wavy NCT or is Wavy Wavy or like what's happening now because they could have called it like NCT M you know NCT China they could have called it something else they could have probably found coordinates for like China on the map and then called it like NCT and then a different set of numbers but it got a whole name altogether and I also think that has to do um, with the whole like financial and operational and legal part of um, the group as well because they have to register their group both in Korea probably and also in um, mainland China and so there could be some sort of um, work around that they couldn't do to keep this whole NCT thing uh, but ultimately like you know what fans wanted they got and last year with NCT 2020 um, Wavy officially like was announced to be part and is part of NCT and also there's going to be um, NCT Jap Japanese unit and so really curious to know what like that sort of subunit of NCT is also going to be called hopefully its temporary name <laughs> isn't going to be NCT like cherry blossoms or something I don't know it just NCT Hollywood did not sit well when I just read it it just like so cringy but yeah the ultimate um, goal of NCT at the end was to be an ever-growing brand with you know just <laughs> I don't want to say infinite but definitely you know endless possibilities endless growth and it's not always a bad thing it's just obviously the execution of how it is is going to be very important um, although there is going to be Western sort of audition program 
for this um, unit of NCT, NCT Hollywood. I don't really like suppose that they would be picking members that are like not appearance wise like the littlest bit of like Southeast Asian or East Asian I feel like it's like most likely going to be like either with um, Southeast Asian or East Asian roots or just like misc mixed like Korean and something like Spanish or mixed Korean and Italian or mixed Korean and ca Caucasian and so I don't feel like it would just be just someone who's like just looks wise you know um, blue eyes <laughs> blonde hair there's just like it looks like European descent maybe not someone who's like looks fully European descent but still um, it would be someone I feel like they would cast as those with um, East Asian roots so just because aesthetic not aesthetically but just k-pop itself I don't know how ready it is to experiment or to go explore into groups where there's members that just don't look Asian at all and some of them that do have them in um, smaller labels and smaller groups right now they aren't really taking off and this is a very controversial topic <laughs> which we can talk more about at another time with Alex because I know she has just, like a lot of opinion on it as well but it kind of draws back on what is K-pop how is K-pop evolving um, how do we want to see K-pop evolve? Because with its reach and growth being so like global now, are we as the industry, not that I'm in the industry, but at, is the industry having to play a bigger part in being more inclusive um, and racially inclusive? So that's something to think about. Um, however, SM is a very big label and so there are risks that maybe they're willing to take that other labels aren't willing to take and I could just be eating my words right now. <laughs> maybe, you know, a year later there's going to be an NCT, you know, LA branch and it's like all the members are just like guys from Nickelodeon or something that you would <laughs> so, like from shows that you would have watched growing up here you know on your YTV Nickelodeon um, Disney and that would be very interesting but I guess the important thing is go and approach it with an open mind um, like when Espa Espa debuted or was getting ready to debut pre-debut the whole AI concept it just didn't land well with everyone but um, it didn't it also didn't really take off take off but I mean they've got a solid fan base now too so who knows approach it with an open mind we'll never know really what it looks like until it's finally here so get ready for that uh, and I need to get ready to listen to all of this album because I think it's gonna be hot. <laughs> and I feel like I have the responsibility to drop a pun every now and then in honor of Alex even though she might not be in our video for the day. You know what I mean? So, it is on all streaming platforms already. 12 tracks. Ooh. So, Hot Sauce, Diggity, which I know was part of the teaser films, which was super. <laughs> 
I couldn't take it all too seriously, the storyline, because I'm like Jisung and Mark in a love triangle. I just, it was, it was a little bit difficult, just a little bit difficult. Um, but I know that was in there. Dive Into You was the first one, I believe, that was teased in the short um, films. Them in a car, and I think Hechang was driving it. It looks so nice. My Youth, Rocket, Countdown 3 2 1, A N L. What's that? What's the abbreviation stand for? A N L. Irreplaceable, Be There for You, and Rainbow. Alright, 10 tracks on NCT Dreams first full-length album hot sauce so very excited to check it out I love look even the little the character drawing is so cute I wonder if the members like took part in that and also it looks like it's like a package right like one of those um, condiments packages I know that there's like <laughs> so there's two versions of the album coming there's a photo book version and there's what the, the jewel case version and so jewel case um, for those <laughs> of younger generations that may not remember what a jewel case uh, CD is is basically the plastic ones that just open like this and then you have your album on one side and then you have your lyrics book on the other side and that's it the most classic looking CDs and but I'm scared it's coming in this packaging and it's like what I would have to cut it open I'm very scared, but we'll know when it gets here. So let's not get too ahead of the Let's just listen to the album, wait patiently for our mail, and when it gets here, it gets here. And so I'm going to go stream. I'm going to go listen, and maybe I'll share my thoughts on my favorite B-side track on our Instagram. So once again, if you want exclusive content and if you want to join in on any conversations or hit us up our dms are always open make sure you check out opa tununa on the tiktok and on the instagram and if you like this video please give it a like and consider subscribing it would be very fun to have you along the ride for our youtube journey and that's it for today bye